All right, tech tip 15, like 14 and also 16, relates to disaster recovery. And these are the things that you really need to know about the way that you're being currently provided for or if you're looking to hire a new provider. And this one has to relates to where the data is stored, where your backup is stored. Is it stored just on site? Is it stored, are you taking the drives and and, uh, and promising that you put them in a fireproof safe and then taking them uh, home uh, or not or forgetting, you know, is where's your data? And in, in 2018, really your data needs to be in a secure cloud-based uh, environment. It needs to be offsite. And one of the key components of a good disaster recovery plan for security purposes is that the data is encrypted before it leaves your site. You know, I think most people are okay with the cloud or are getting more okay with it. And if it's done properly, there's really not a problem. But you want to know some key components. One of them is, is, uh, is the data encrypted before it leaves my facility? Uh, where is the facility that it's uh, kept at? And then also, how quickly can I get that data in the event of a disaster? You know, a lot of times you're backing up, say, off uh, to Colorado or somewhere, which are great facilities uh, from a disaster standpoint. You know, they're, they're one of the fewest uh, places on the planet where a disaster might happen. But you don't think about, well, hey, I've got 15 terabytes of data and I need to get it here. Now, are they gonna put it on the drive or do they have a, a, a box readily available to put it on and ship it to me overnight or am I gonna expect it to download it? Well, that could take you know literally days to download that much data. So again, it's about where is your data, how is it, is it encrypted before it leaves and how quickly can I get it when I need it? And you need to know these things before you go into a deal so that you don't get yourself into a position of, uh, of being, uh, experiencing a lot of downtime waiting on getting that data. If you have any further questions, again, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be happy to help.